Greater Good Radio. Connect, learn, heal, and grow. My favorite ski partner was Sharon Tweaksmith. Sharon and I are about the same age. They still have a home up in Sun Valley, and we'd go up to Sun Valley and ski. And I was with her when she broke her leg in like 11 places, a compound fracture. How old was she? She was in her early 60s, I think. Mm. It was awful because it was soft snow, I, spring snow. I couldn't reach her, you know. I mean, we were stuck. I was stuck from my waist down, and she was in great pain. And I started yelling, and the doctor, this was before cell phone, and there's cell phones. The doctor says, this, can I help? I said, yeah. He was in the bottom of this slope. And I said, yeah, please. And so he started coming up, and pretty soon he was stuck. He couldn't get out. And then we couldn't get him get her out of the snow because the snowmobiles were. Was she yelling? Yeah, she was in tremendous pain. And they finally got her out by using jump skis, you know, the big wide skis. And they came down from the top with a sled, put her in the sled. Is this Sharon, this Nate Smith's mom? Yeah. Okay. That was awful because the helplessness. You can understand why people in war, when one of their buddies gets shot or badly injured and you're there and there's not a goddamn thing you can do. Terrible. Anyway, so those situations were painful. What did you learn from those? The fragility of life, I guess, one. And two, how quickly it can happen. And three, how great the recovery can be. Because Sharon's fine now. You know, she's walking around. Um, yeah, I would never have known that. Oh, it was awful. She had a terrible break. Orthopedic surgeon later went to UCLA on some conference and used that as a case study and how bad it was. If you resonate with Greater Good Radio, please join our community at www.greatergoodradio.com where you can get access to exclusive content and offerings. Hope to see you soon.